Very good. Um, as history, and let me provide some context. The, the focus here was to be able to come up with some general ideas with regards to increasing community engagement in the process of governance, uh, do uh, some programs to prove them as concepts, to be able to roll those into the uh, uh, upcoming Democracy Santa Clara project. The initial goal was set in March 2013 to get some recommendations. That was then uh, approved in September of 2013 to get a report for actual options. And then the council funded and approved in, in November of 2013 both the, uh, the engagement project that we are currently reporting on, additionally looking at the vote ethics program that we currently do and ways that that could be um, modified. Uh, so the council is aware this is likely the last time that you'll see the vote ethics program in its current guise as we roll that into a more robust democracy town Clara project also. The program review, the program focused on six basic areas, voter registration outreach, board and commission recruitment, uh, community volunteerism, uh, updating e-notify, promoting and uh, creating election materials, and then enhancing city resources. This is a general outline of some of those elements. Let me remind the council that you've received a full copy of this report. It's also online for any member of the public to see on the city's website and can be available if you call the city clerk's office um, in an electronic copy as well. The first topic we'll cover is gonna be voter registration. We were able to see through the course of that time frame of December through June of 2014 an increase in 711 newly registered voters in the city of Santa Clara. It's important to outline that this is among a distinct voting set or a distinct set of residents of Santa Clara. These are people who, despite the city's already fairly significant outreach efforts every two years with the Vote Ethics Program, are both eligible to vote but have not yet registered. So anecdotally, seeing 711 new registered voters is a pretty big bite. However, that's uh, anecdotal. So we went to look to see whether or not there was actually a proof of concept that what we did was effective. And in looking at the city of Santa Clara's increase in voter registration compared with other cities in Santa Clara County that did not have a, um, a municipal primary in that election cycle that would have made the numbers nutty, we found that our program was right around 50% more effective in the city of Santa Clara. Wow. We know, so we know that in general that's a proof of concept to look at some type of an ongoing project. I should mention that there were direct mail brochures and utility bill outreach which were multilingual that were some major program elements in addition to a voter registration card that was sent to every household. Also a newspaper advertisement which was multilingual and a newspaper article in the Santa Clara Weekly. The next slide I've included some samples of the one vote can make a difference a newspaper advertisement that was done in Chinese, Spanish, Tagalog, Vietnamese, Korean, Hindi, Portuguese, and English and printed in the major foreign language newspapers that relate to each one of those uh, particular demographics. The next with regards to board and commission recruitment, as a context, uh, let me remind folks that in 2012 and 2013, we were obligated to re-advertise four times for board and commission openings due to a lack of interest. In 2014, we had seven applicants for two openings and four formal interest cards with regards to future openings. We can say that the major program elements here were creating a standalone commission website, a new online application and interest form that streamlined the process, doing significant email outreach, and then another newspaper article that was covered there. With regards to e-notify, during that time frame, we saw 907 new independent subscribers. For anybody who has not yet subscribed to e-notify, it is the city's news source. If you're watching this and you haven't signed up, please do so. It's free, it's easy, and you can manage your own flow of information uh, through the city's website. It's important to point out that these were independent subscribers above and beyond the normal updates that would wow. be received from the library or the Parks and Rec Department or something like that that do regular downloads. Uh, and that was about, uh, a little under 4% of the approximately 24,500 subscribers at the time. Uh, and we should congratulate the IT department for reaching now 25,000 users in eNotify, uh, which was recently announced, which is exceptional work. And of course, the main elements there were a utility bill insert that I should note were a, a distinct project handled by Assistant City Manager Tucker, uh, the marketing committee, and uh, uh, Dan Bierman. Uh, there was also a Highway 101 billboard, e-notify email outreach, and another newspaper article as well. With regards to community volunteerism, while the city has had a list for many years with regards to community organizations, it wasn't online and it was out of date, that is now a standalone online uh, website on the city's uh, web, uh, web page. That process was fairly intensive of calling all those folks, updating the contact information, 
ensuring that we had their permission to publish it online, and then updating those as we advertised it and got uh, interest from other community groups that wanted to be involved. Uh, we, of course, did significant email outreach, did a social media element to this, and there was a social media element to everything that we did here. And then, of course, had another newspaper article. With regards to general community engagement, let me point out that first, we have now a list of language interpreter services, where if somebody calls into the city of Santa Clara to any department, there is a central list of people across City Hall who speak a foreign language who can be, provide immediate language assistance. Additionally, if we are contacted by somebody who is not uh, who speaks a language which isn't one of our existing interpreters. We have a now for pay, we've had for some time, but now the, the contact information there with regards to how to access a for pay interpreter service is there as well. We've also compo uh, composed significant ongoing outreach systems. Uh, for example, we've, we worked with departments to make sure that existing lists that they had were updated, the Citizens Police Academy, the CERT program, Leadership Santa Clara, and came up with a process to outreach to some of those graduates in our communities. Uh, came up with a list of former and current board and commissioners, uh, looked to ways that we could simply find people who have been engaged, not solely to engage them, but to ask them to engage their friends who perhaps mm -hmm. haven't been engaged so far. And that, uh, that came up to uh, 985 individuals that we're, we've been outreaching to, which we did outreach to for a number of these programs. Additionally, we came up with uh, 90 faith-based and community service organizations that we also outreach to on a regular basis. If anybody would like to be involved in one of those lists or know of somebody who would be, either an organization or an individual, please contact us and let us know who we'd like you to be involved with that. And finally, to outline a fairly robust partnership with with uh, the Santa Clara Weekly. Uh, this is, you, I know you saw earlier, I had mentioned some of the newspaper articles that were covered. They allowed us, again, to have a series of five newspaper articles that they covered that uh, decreases the cost for us, but is a very nice thing with regards to community Excellent. outreach that provides some nice third-party validation and is a really neat partnership. The summary page that you'll see here, I simply do to show about the overall critical mass that we were able to create. It's important not just that we outreach to the folks who need the help or need access to whatever service it is or benefit that the program offered, but also so that the general population who may be engaged in either an, uh, an active way or in even a passive way simply knows that the city cared enough to outreach so that they could choose, choose to do so if they, didn't, if they wanted to, but if they didn't want to, at least they knew that they had the option. And so we had you know, 212 direct mail pieces uh, or elements of a direct mail program, 204,000 uh, distribution for our newspaper advertisements, 75,000 newspaper article distributions, and, and on down the line. When you look at all that, you realize that it was a very robust and sincere partnership. The council, of course, uh, was your goal. You guys uh, funded it. It was done in partnership with funding with the city manager's office. But also, literally almost every program in the city was involved with it. The city clerk's office, city manager's office, city attorney's office, finance department, police and fire departments, HR, the Parks and Rec Department, the Library Department, our community partners and leadership Santa Clara, the Silicon Valley Power played a major role, the IT department plays a, a major role. So you can see that it was a real effort to maximize existing city resources in a manner that was highly cost effective. It is very important to point out Nick Becker and Vincent Tice, who were recent honor roll type gra uh, graduates from San Jose State University who were able to have come and work on the program um, and they continue to be involved with it in some ways, uh, both of them, and to recognize their good work and their, the, the, both the intellect and the enthusiasm that they brought to it. The combination of all that meant that we were able to provide this program for right around 50 cents per resident in Santa Clara. And that's a pretty good use of, of yeah. tax dollars when you look at the overall impact and the overall robustness of the program. The next steps are going to be to continue to enhance Santa Clara's resident participation and community engagement in the process of governance. And we heard some good suggestions tonight, which we'll, we will, of course, incorporate into these programs. We appreciate the public who had some comments there. Uh, ensure that the, the um, most successful and st sustainable project elements are incorporated into ongoing programs. And finally, we refer the concepts for inclusion into the council goal to develop a plan and program for the Democracy Santa Clara concept.